Hi everybody, Julie Paquette, probate and estate planning attorney. I am feeling a little bit frustrated today with one of our local probate courts, and so I wanted to use it as a lesson to get the word out about a few different things. I actually could make probably five different videos from this one um, case that I'm a little frustrated with right now, but I'm gonna try to narrow it down to one, um, one little issue. And that is, um, please do what you can to um, avoid your assets going through probate at your death. You do not want to send your family and your prop property through probate when you pass away. Um, the example I have today is we represent a woman who is the only child of the decedent. She's the only heir for this estate. And she started probate on her own. She probably figured, you know, I'm the only person who's entitled to take everything. Why do I need an attorney? I could save a few bucks. I don't need to be represented for this. Well, she doesn't know all of the technical requirements in probate. Anybody who's not a probate attorney doesn't know this. Even attorneys who are not probate attorneys, they could get tripped up on this very easily as well. So she did a couple things not correctly that um, basically has put her now under supervision of the court, um, or at least the estate administration is being supervised. So now every little thing has to be reviewed and approved by the judge. This is driving up costs to her estate so instead of all the money just going into her pocket now she's getting a much larger chunk taken out to pay for attorney's fees in a couple different ways one is we have to get the judge's approval to sell the real estate out of the estate it's basically her real estate now she's the only child it's gonna be hers but because she tripped up a couple of little things even though she wasn't doing anything improper she wasn't trying to steal or anything like that um, now to sell the real estate she has to get the judge's approval to me, it, that doesn't seem to benefit anybody. It's just driving up costs, but this is kind of how probate works. It's very clunky, time consuming. There's a lot of costs involved. It is not efficient. So we had to prepare a petition outlining the details of the sale, why it's a fair deal that she entered into with this buyer, and get a hearing date, and then we'll have to appear for the hearing, and all of this is just tacking on time and money. In addition to all of that, the court felt it was necessary to appoint an independent attorney to go out and uh, review <laughs> the details of the sale to make sure that it's fair to the seller, our client, who is the only person to benefit out of this estate. So if she wanted to sell it at a lower price, I guess the court would not allow that, even though the money <laughs> is just going to her ultimately anyway. Um, so. This other attorney has essentially been hired by the court to review. And let me ask you, who do you think is paying for this attorney's time? Oh, do you think the court's paying for this attorney? No, mm -mm. no. My client will be paying for this other attorney that's been appointed by the court because there are assets in the estate. There is money there to pay for these required things um, that the court feels is necessary to protect the estate. So she's paying for us to appear for a hearing, to ask permission to sell this house at this price that she thinks is fair. She's paying for this other attorney she did not hire. She's never met before. She's paying for their time to review it and tell the judge, yes or no, you should allow the sale or not. I could go on and on. I'm trying not to make this a 10 minute video. Um, but as you can see, Probate does not necessarily work out all that well for the individuals involved. A lot of times it ends up stripping a lot of the money out of the estate for creditors that otherwise may not be getting paid, um, attorney's fees, it gets driven up, court costs. Seriously, I could go on and on and on. So my point, my one point I'm trying to stick to today right now for this video is please meet with an estate planning attorney, get your affairs in order, get your documents done so that you can do what you can to avoid probate and not send your assets and your family down to court and go through all these processes um, that's just clunky, time consuming, and a major headache. All right, give us a call and we will help you out. 248-648-1148. Thanks. Bye-bye.